One of the most popular questions I get when asked about Patreon is how do I know when it is time to join Patreon? You definitely need an audience for Patreon. It's not a place where you're going to grow an audience. You can use your Patreon audience for traffic. If you do put out a new YouTube video, if you do write a new blog post, you can share it in Patreon and you will get traffic, but it's only going to be people that would have already done that. They would have done it anyway. It's not bonus traffic. You're not going to attract any new people to your Patreon unless Unless they're already in your audience. As a rough kind of number, I would say that it's not really worth focusing on Patreon until you have around 5,000 YouTube subscribers or something like 20,000 page views per month on your website. If you have a big Facebook group or you're very popular on Instagram, it might be worth doing it earlier. But any earlier than that, I don't really know that it would be worth your investment. Come with me now and I'm gonna show you inside my computer how we set up a new Patreon. Once you get into Patreon, there are these tabs of settings that you need to set up to set up your Patreon page. So the first thing, of course, you need to think about what is the name of your Patreon page and what are you creating? Emma Cruises is creating cruise content is what I went for. I thought that that was vague enough that it covered everything that I'm doing on the internet. It just needs to be something so that people know roughly that they're in the right place. I have my prof profile picture here too, and I do have a cover photo. This is the same as my YouTube cover photo. I've just written on there, welcome Patreons. That comes up quite big on the page, so you're gonna want something that you like. You don't have to have something quite like this. You could just have a photo if you wanted to, but the more kind of branding elements you can have in there, like I have my logo, the more people will realize that they're on the right Patreon page. The last thing you want is somebody to get onto your Patreon page, question if it's even your page, because then they will leave. My Patreon is just forward slash Emma Cruises, keeping it simple. The simpler you can keep it, I think the better. It does give you a space where you can explain to your Patreons what Patreon is and why they should join it. I would definitely recommend having a section on here that explains what Patreon is. Don't assume that just because somebody's on Patreon that they have any idea what it is because they may not. So I just have a very little introduction here about what do I do. I produce videos for my YouTube channel, my website and various social accounts that I have. I have added a section which is called Why Patreon. I would strongly recommend that you put something similar because people may not understand what Patreon is. I would very strongly recommend that you put something in here about why people should support you on Patreon and how it helps you. I've put about it allowing me to create impartial content because my audience do not want me to partner with a cruise line because then I will lose my ability to tell the truth basically so that's one thing that i like to say i also have this picture of me here and just a link to my about page i have made an intro video and i would strongly suggest that you do as well it should be unprofessional it should be you just with a camera in your hand maybe a bit shaky it doesn't matter people want to see you in your kind of natural habitat this is already a preview of the kind of behind the scenes content that i make on my channel and i've just got a very quick explanation one thing I would recommend that you do is when you make this video, use language that assumes that people are already going to click your Patreon. So in this Patreon, I talk about when you join Patreon, etc, etc, rather than if you do. I'll just play this for you. It's only a minute long. I just think it gives you a good insight to how kind of casual Patreon is. Hello and welcome to my Patreon page. You have found one of my favourite places on the entire internet, we've built an amazing community here of really nice people. I asked my Patreons recently why they stay in Patreon, why they came to Patreon, and a lot of them named other members as a reason why they're in Patreon, which is so nice to me that we've built this community around a shared love of cruise ships. We have got various tiers on here which come with different perks. Some of them have Zoom calls with me, we have early access to videos, behind the scenes photos, you name it, you'll find it here. I'm constantly updating the perks, and if you would like to join our community, that would be absolutely fantastic. Your support allows me to run my YouTube channel, to run my website, and you guys are just 
fabulous. As soon as you join Patreon, I will be able to send you a direct message, which is really cool. I try and do it as fast as I can. Some of the tiers come with a personalised video message, and if I'm in my pyjamas, if I've just come in from the rain, you will get a video message from me, so be prepared for that. But thank you so much for even taking the time to visit to visit this video, to watch this video. I appreciate you loads and loads. Have a fantastic day and I will see you on the inside. I'll try and reply as fast as I can. Usually it's within five minutes. I'll try and do it fa so fast. You don't have to have any sort of introductory video like that, but I do think it does give a more kind of personal connection. When you have set up the basic information, you can move on to setting up your tiers. The tiers themselves are really easy to make. You get to title each one and I decided to go with an inside tier, ocean view, cabin and suite tier, sticking on the theme of the cruise ships. I think if you can have a theme, that's quite nice. You don't have to, you could name them something a bit more practical, but I like this and my Patreons like it. They seem to say, oh, I'm, I'm moving up from the ocean view to the balcony tier and they get really happy about that. So try and stick with something on brand. You get to add the amount that you, you can charge pretty much any amount. I haven't added images to the tiers, you can do, I haven't. And I've just put a very basic list here of what people get from this tier. You can add benefits and what this does is this means that Patreon knows what you need to deliver and it kind of nags you and reminds you. So it will say, um, you've got 15 people who are due their weekly podcast access. Down here in the advanced settings, you can limit the number of Patreons if you want to. And if you want to ask for a shipping address, you can. I have sent my Patreons Christmas cards before and that's been really good. People have liked that. But Patreon doesn't give you their shipping addresses just as default. You have to ask for them. This section here about sales tax, I'll let you have a look more into that if that's something that affects you. Basically, the different levels of tax for different perks. Some perks have higher tax levels than others, but Patreon works out all of this stuff for you. So I'll let you go into that if you want any more information. Patreon here are trying to sell us the their premium plan where they do merchandising. I don't feel as though you need that. I do have merchandise that I do through Teespring and you can share links in there, but they are pushing at the moment their, their merchandise. So here we've got all of my tiers. I published them quite a long time ago. And I come in here and I add in things quite regularly. It's quite good to add tiers, not just because you're adding tiers, but because you also get to announce them. So I will say, you know, I'm adding this to um, the balcony tier and then everybody in the ocean view and the inside thinks, hmm, I would quite like that monthly Zoom call with Emma and other Patreons in this higher tier. So I would recommend changing up these as much as you can, asking your Patreons for feedback about them because they like to be involved in, in what they like which makes sense. They're the ones that are getting the perks, so definitely ask them. We do have a merchandise tab here. I don't do anything merchandise related on Patreon. When it comes to getting paid, I have just ticked monthly and I've put the box to charge my Patreons up front. I am accepting annual memberships. You don't have to, but I've got quite a lot of people who have paid up front, so I would recommend doing that. The thing that I don't really like about this is that when somebody pays annually, you just get it in one big chunk. It's not spread out over the year. And I think I would personally prefer it to be a bit more spread out, but I will let people do that. That's no problem to me. I've gone for a 10% discount. If somebody wants to pay for the year, you can do a maximum of 16. My currency, my Patreon is all set up in US dollars. But if you're somebody from the UK looking at my Patreon page, you will see it in pounds. If you're from Europe, you will see it in euros. For hopefully obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you guys my payout settings and my tax information, but that part is really easy to fill out. They have all of these questions on the side. If you do have any questions, I've always found their resources to be really helpful and step by step, which I think I need sometimes. Onto page settings, this is about what your actual page will look like. You have to have your name here, your country of residence, and your custom brand colours if you want to do that. You can either have your earnings, the amount you earn per month, it can be public so everybody can see how much you earn, or you can have it private. I have kept that one private. As far as the visibility of the number of Patreons you have, you can have this private, but I would recommend that you do have it public. People like to see that other people are in there before they join. 
and maybe you could keep it private at the beginning and then make it public when you have a couple of Patreons, but I would recommend keeping that public and Patreon recommends it too. If you have a physical address, you can add that. I have linked up my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. I don't have any adult content, but if you do, you can tick this box. You are allowed to put adult content on Patreon, but you just have to tag it as such. You can also add your Google Analytics ID, something I haven't done, but I definitely should do, to see how many people view your Patreon per month, which could be interesting. In the advanced settings, we have welcome notes. I haven't set up any specific welcome notes here because I prefer to message people directly. As soon as people join, I do send them a message. And I think that's nicer than this kind of canned response where everybody gets the same thing. It would be nice maybe to do a welcome video. I tend to do custom videos for my Patreon. So that's why I haven't filled out this section. We've also got goals. I do have a goal set up. You can either do earnings based goals or community based goals. I've got one at the moment for $800. I think I'm about $650 in Patreon at the moment and the rest is on YouTube. But when I get to $800, I will be able to do Patreon only live streams once per month, which gives people the opportunity to ask me questions where I can actually respond to all of the comments. I do a lot of YouTube lives, but it does get kind of crazy and I can't always reply to the comments. So this is my next goal and I'm looking forward to doing that. It's definitely something I want to do, but having it as a goal on here, when people go onto my page and they see I'm 85% of the way there, that may encourage them to just, just push me over the edge and give me that extra perk. We also have this tab here for offers, which is, it's just a good place to get ideas. It shows you some of the things that other people offer and how much they make from those things. So it's, it's good for just ideas. So once you have filled out all of these settings, these are all the things that you need to do for Patreon. You will be able to see your Patreon page. This is what my Patreon page looks like. This is me not logged into Patreon. As a random person going on my Patreon, this is what people see. So this is my header. I've put welcome Patreons on there. It's got my photo, another photo of me too. And it says Emma Cruises is creating cruise content. Then when someone comes down here, they see all of the tiers with big join buttons. They make it very, very easy to join on Patreon. Once somebody clicks join, they just fill out their card details and that is it. Another thing that I think is pretty cool is that you can add a custom pledge. You can make up your own tier if you don't find one that you want. The problem with that though is that it doesn't attach itself to any of the other tiers. So when I make a post in Patreon, I will tick the boxes of the people that I want to be able to see it. So if I have one for only the balcony and the suite level tiers, I will tick those boxes and only those people will be able to see it. If you're somebody who's made a custom pledge, you're not attached to any of the tiers. So the problem there is that you may miss out on things because you're not attached to any of the tiers. That is pretty much it as far as this page goes. It is very, very basic and very easy to use. As soon as anybody hits become a Patreon, join, anything like that, they'll be taken to sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook or fill out your information. Then they will have to give their card details, tick a box saying that they know what they're signing up for and then you're in. Easy peasy.